Hi everyone, welcome back to DIY Geek YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you um, about this travel router or mini smart router. Um, this is a router that um, is very small, easy to uh, take with you for traveling and the purpose of it is to be able to uh, allow you to share one particular network uh, to many different devices. So. I travel quite a bit and sometimes I go to a hotel where they only provide one password for one person, therefore also for one particular device. And one person can easily have multiple devices. For example, I have my laptop, I have my phone, and sometimes I have a tablet and my watch, etc. So uh, one person can easily have three, four devices these days. And uh, if you're traveling with a family, that's even worse. You will probably need to have approximately about, I don't know, I have a family of four, myself included. Usually I need to have probably about 10 to 12 um, device to, to be able to have connections. And I do not wanna pay for extra money um, to the hotel just to have multiple devices. So this is where this device comes in handy. Uh, it has a RJ45 network connector and uh, that you can connect to and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. So it comes with um, USB, micro USB cable. It comes with an RJ45, uh, the thin version here. And then the device itself. So this is powered by the uh, micro USB. Um, the package does not come with a power adapter. So you would have to provide your own USB power adapter that is going to be powered using this cable here. Okay, so the device itself is approximately that big, weighs almost nothing, probably like one tenth of a pound. Um, it's basically, um, having these ports right here. So you can have the internet that's coming in here and it comes out right here in the LAN, the power comes in here. So this is a flow through. Um, so if you have a hub or a laptop, you can still plug in your laptop here. So you plug in the cable, the RJ45 from the hotel here and then you would plug this to your laptop if you're connecting through an RJ45. And the power, of course, goes there. Um, there's multiple purpose for this USB. You can hang a, you can attach a, uh, an external uh, storage here. Reset button. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I'll explain it later. So, if you like to uh, buy this particular product um, after watching this video, please use my link. I'm gonna put the Amazon link for this particular device in my video description and in my comment. All right, so let's get going. I'm gonna hook this up, um, pretend that I'm in a hotel and show you how uh, easily that you can use this to connect multiple devices. Thank you. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is set up the router uh, by going to 192.168.8.1 and once you are on this uh, select language page, I'm picking English and uh, you can set a new password. I'm just going to put mine test testing 123, testing 123 and click submit. All right, so um, this is a very nice uh, interface, very easy to use. Um, it immediately shows me all the different modes that I would like this to operate with. So um, as you can see here, we have the repeater mode, which means that you're using this as a repeater um, to um, better your Wi-Fi in your house when you have a 
dead zone etc or you can use it as a 3g 4g modem if you have a dongle uh, with t-mobile verizon or whatever you can use it as a hotspot or you can use it as tethering which is what i'm going to be using it for so i'm going to click on uh, this particular use right here the tethering i don't know why i'm not able to click on it okay i didn't read the message here it says no three tethering device found so we're going to go to our found uh, our phone and actually put it on tethering mode so that it will get the internet from the usb and it can finally so i can finally choose this option right here okay so i have my android phone connected via usb to the mango router and i'm going to click settings go to network and internet and then click on hotspot usb tethering and then the, let's just make sure that i am connected to the internet yep i'm connected to the internet so with the usb tethering on i should be able to now click on or select the tethering mode okay now that i'm back on the computer i definitely see that the tethering now even without me refreshing the page it automatically detects the tethering is uh, available on usb zero that's the only option and then all i have to do is just click connect okay so again i'm connected to the wi-fi of the um router right there and it is trying to connect to the usb for internet I'm not sure why it's taking so long okay oh mm, something is wrong it says no tethering device found once again so oh there you go I didn't do anything uh just so it just takes a while it took about 15 to 20 seconds and it finally gave me an ip address um this is the ip address that is actually i don't know this what this ip address is because i thought we were at 8.1 subnet but this is giving me an 104.41 subnet okay so i guess that's probably from a new local network that is created from the tethering so that it doesn't share maybe but um, okay so since i'm connected still to the router let's just see if i can um, test and uh, get online so let's go to uh, let's see let's go to yahoo finance yep sure enough so i have internet uh, for sure it works and um I'm going to review um, what it looks like, the connection uh, from the router, and uh, what it looks like on the phone, um, and then how it's broadcasting internet. Okay, so once again, uh, this is the router. I just have power connected to it, USB connecting to my Android phone, which is the one that is providing the internet via Wi-Fi. So the Android phone is connecting to my Wi-Fi. Well, in the future, you can actually have the Android phone connected to a uh, mobile network and then it's USB tethering through the cable to the, to the Mango router so that this is providing the Wi-Fi. So, um, or I think uh, it, it can even provide internet to your local network through here. So it has many, many purpose for this uh, router, but what I'm using it for right now is definitely for USB tethering, uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, and uh, it's working really well um, so far. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you find it useful. If you do, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. Appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel to see more do-it-yourself video like these and support my channel. Thank you.